Okay, now I've got a question for the whole, you know, anyone in the panel who wants to uh, address this. This is from Kat Long, um, and uh, sent it to me. She's in Canada and a regular listener on the show, and so hello, Kat Long. Thanks for your question. Now, her question is this. After listening to your coming out of the atheist closet stories, it seems like quite a few of you have had negative experiences within religious groups. Is there any chance that your opinions or outlook on religions would be different if you had more positive experiences with religion? And if so, how? Who wants to take that one? Uh, Matt here, you, any chance I can take this? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I can honestly say that overall I had a pretty positive uh, experience with religion. Um, I had a few negative uh, kicks along the way, like growing up, for example, um, when I received my first communion, I had just been diagnosed with diabetes, and because of that, they were serving cake and Kool-Aid at the party that they were having in the church after we received our first communion, and the nuns kicked me out, told me I couldn't be a part of it because I had diabetes. So I went out and sat on the front steps while everyone else ate cake and drank Kool-Aid. But, uh, I mean, I, I was kind of responsible for my family moving to different churches throughout. But it, regardless, aside from that, I had some pretty, pretty positive experiences growing up with the church. In fact, even to the extent that uh, the college that I attended was uh, a religiously affiliated college. <coughs> but... I would say overall, what what really helped drive me, uh, I guess not what drove me away from the church, but what led me away from the church was just uh, was just learning, was just opening books, reading, uh, paying attention in the classes, like uh, in my philosophy classes, in my uh, in my science classes, in the physics classes, uh, biology classes. Hell, even in the religion courses that I took, since uh, theology was actually uh, a mandatory uh, part of the curriculum in the college that I attended, I had a Roman Catholic church stand up in front of the class and tell us, this book, holding up the Bible, is full of a lot of BS. Even having that, I mean, it was, it, it was through a lot of positive experiences, but then just even learning on my own that kind of led me away from the church. So it wasn't necessarily the negative experience, but even the positive ones, and then just keeping an open mind. I mean, I, I can't speak on behalf of everyone that's, that's here on the panel today, but I can honestly say that I feel, because I'm subscribed to just about everyone that's, that's here on the panel today, that everyone is, who's here has deconverted because not maybe not necessarily of negative experiences, but maybe negative experiences, and then just learning uh, different things on top of that, learning things about uh, about evolution or about uh, the the creation of our solar system or or really anything. It's just anyone who is willing to keep an open mind and who's willing to educate themselves, I feel regardless of negative or positive experiences, are, are the ones who really pull away from religion and think maybe this isn't really all it's hyped up to be. Very well said. Um, yeah, it, this, is, this, is, this is Adam, um, I, uh, or the man of earth. Um, I, I completely agree with Matt. For myself, I, I never had any negative experiences about the, uh, in the church. I mean... Uh, my grandmother, tri my grandmother, on my father's side tried to uh, instill a type of religious belief in uh, my siblings and I by taking us to her Baptist church. But I mean, th we never really had any negative experiences there. We, we kind of thought it was a, it was a bit of a waste of time. But <laughs> at the same time, and and I mean, the the Sunday school classes that she uh, that she ended up uh, ended up taking us to, uh, they asked her not to bring us back to them because uh, <laughs> myself myself and my brother and my sister we were asking too many questions uh, about what we were being taught in Sunday school so um, they asked us not to bring us back they asked her not to bring us back but we didn't know that until way later <clears throat> I didn't know that until I was in until I was in high school 
and uh, I didn't know about my great great grandfather and what happened to him um, about the uh, the preacher starting out the the eulogy with this poor sinner um, uh, until I was in college. So I had no idea that I had been brought up uh, in a in a much more secular environment until I got out got out of that secular environment and out into college and, and uh, e- I mean, even a little bit in high school until I, uh, and when I encountered, like, really religious people. And it, it, that, and it was kind of like a big shock to me, um, really. Uh, it, it wasn't, I, I, so I never really had any negative experiences of the church uh, until I actually started being an, being an atheist activist. Uh, well, so, getting out into the world and education, I think, probably plays um, a, quite a big deal into this.